what that says. Uh, crept in, it's all one word, crept in unawares. It's the Greek word pare, paredu. Paredu. But as do know. Uh, it says uh, to enter secretly, slip in stealthily, to steal in. And that's what you did. You didn't come through that straight gate. You know? You, you supposedly you came in in 08, you know, and, and, and then, then you were still doing you know, your thing, still out there selling drugs and all that stuff. You know? Uh, and, and brothers called you out, man. Because they, they. See, don't, one thing is when you guys are around. Them different brothers in the different camps, they see your character because they're around you all the time. They know who you are. They know you. You know, and then, you know, you're, you're trying, you know, I don't know what the deal is between you and the brothers in Seattle. You always got this beef going on. You know, but it's either either one of the two things. Either they're, they're not right or you're not right. You know? And and from what I'm seeing, you're not right. You know, because, you know, for you, for you to, to get up there and and talking about that you was getting uh, uh, talked about all all last year, 2014, and then you know you said I kept my mouth shut, but now you opening your mouth and you you uh, cursing Elder Rakai out, you know, uh, uh, saying all all type of uh, stuff about the man, you know, calling him wind horse and all that stuff, you know, you basic you going off, man, you know, and you supposed to, you supposed to know the scriptures, you know, which the, all that shit is nothing but a bunch of fluff. You know, you really, you really don't believe in the scriptures, man. Because the bottom line is, is if you w did believe in the scriptures, the, the brother even cut you in the comment board. You know what it said? What did it say about about an elder? This is our First Timothy's five and one. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father, and the younger men as brethren. Now, when you look up that word rebuke, it comes from the Greek word epi epileso, epileso if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It says to strike upon, beat upon, to chastise with words, to chide, upbraid, rebuke. And that's what you did. Call him a uh, uh, um, uh, wind horse, you know, saying you unstable, uh, saying that you, you know, you, uh, uh, you, 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 uh, you are um, going against uh, some, some, some other, other shit you said, you know? Yeah, if you rebuke an elder, you're supposed to have two or three witnesses. So where where is his uh, where is his other witness that back up the shit that he's saying? Furthermore, if he really cared about the scriptures or into the Bible, what's up with that long hair? Why do you have that? Why do you have that long? Well, yeah, you, we know why you matter have fact, it. Matter of fact, go to that scripture. Go to yeah. the scripture. Let the scripture speak. That's right. Why are you getting that? I got a scripture. This is Mark one fifteen on down, and it says, uh, "And saying the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of the Most High is at hand." This was two thousand years ago. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. They worked for, for uh, their father. Um, 17, it said, and, and, the, and, the, and the Lord said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Now, listen to this. 18, and straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. Mm -hmm. Straight And way. straightway. Right away. Let me look up the word straightway. You fails. Now the word there means straightway, immediately, forth with. Mm -hmm. No hesitation. No hesitation. All right. Right. It says when you go to the etymology, it says straight, level, straightforward, upright, true, sincere, straightway, immediately, forth with. So now, how can you call yourself? And we got it on. We got it on video. That you came into the truth. When you come into the truth, mm -hmm. Peter and Andrew and James, uh, um, uh, uh, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, as soon as the Lord 
came before them, they dropped everything that they were doing. Yep. And they followed the Lord. That's right. They didn't say, well, let me go do this or let me go do that. What did you do? You called yourself, you, came, you said that you came into the truth in 2008. Now, I don't know what time you became a drug dealer and a pimp and a damn gangbanger, but you did it in between the times of 2008 and 2011. That's three goddamn years, man. Right. Then you said you fully came into the truth in 2011. Either you in the truth or you're not in the truth, man. But you said out of your own mouth that you came into the truth. That means what? Just like I'm using these examples. That's why we say you crept in unawares. And that's why uh, uh, Ricard, uh, Elder Ricard said that you outside the circle and you are the two-thirds. And I agree with that, man. Yeah. Being that this thing came up that you lied, you came into the truth in 08, but in between 08 and 0, uh, uh, 2011, you was a drug dealer and a gangbanger. Or maybe you was just a drug dealer. Huh? So, so hey, you, hey, he that, give me, give me that in Luke, Luke 9, 62. Mm-hmm. So if you want to know that whether you was in the truth or not, you're not in the truth, man. Yeah, you, you're not in the <laughs> truth, man. Yeah, that's right. Hey, when I, when I saw this truth, when I came into this truth, man, I never turned back. Yeah, Gabar same, yeah. never turned back. Yeah. Ramlob never turned back. Ricard never turned back. Yeah, the one you're talking bad about. The brothers, the main brothers, the uh, younger elders coming up. They never turn back. These young brothers, they never turn back, man. You can't be taking no vacations, man. And you didn't take a vacation. You went back into that wicked world, man. I'm selling drugs. Out of your own mouth. So the only thing that you can do is kill yourself, man. Sure. That's the only thing you could do. Because you ain't going to make it. And I'm not going my eyes. I'm looking dead in the camera. You ain't going to make it, man. That's right. And see, you had beef with uh, um, the Seattle camp. Now you got beef with all the GMS camps, man. Now they're all going to come after you. All The spirit is on you now, man. Yeah, for well doing he, what you did and being proud. Well, he wanted with your to be long famous. hair, man. He wanted you mean, to be you got the script on the long hair? Yeah, I got it. Go ahead and read it. Uh, he wanted to but be tell famous. Tell me that you in order. <laughs> uh, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, beginning at the 14th verse. Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. Tell him why he got that long hair. Well, he got the long hair because it's a... Yeah, yeah, he's not... Well, he's definitely not Samson, all right? He got that long hair because he wants to uh, impress the girlies. The girlies like that long hair. He wants to be a superstar, you know? He wants to be the next Hollywood Israelite. You know? Hey, well, you wanted that fame, my man. You got you it. You got it. You wanted it. You you got you got it. <laughs> yep. He wants it, so he gets it. Uh, First Corinthians eleven and fifteen. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. But the sixteen verse. But if any man seem to be contentious, but if any man seem to be contentious, what is Paul saying here? A guy that refuses. Not to cut his hair. A guy that ref- that wants to have that long hair, because he's talking about long hair. So if you want to have that long hair and you, you insist on keeping that long hair, you are contentious. Okay? But if any man seem to be contentious, which means to fight against the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, we have no such custom, neither the churches of the Heavenly Father. So again, the reason he has that long hair, I'm talking about you, Alizé, or whatever the hell your name is. The reason why you have that long hair is because you want to appeal to the girlies. All right? You think you're some kind of Hollywood Israelite superstar. Yep. All right? Which that's not what this thing of ours is about. Not at all. And that shows your level of maturity. You have none. Okay? Yep. Yeah, and this is a, a lesson to you other brothers out there, you know, of, of what happens when, you know, when you hang around with these uh, demons, these heathens of the world. You know, them them spirits jump on you, man. That's what the scriptures say, be not ye unequally yoked together with unbelievers, you know, because them same spirits that's on them people is going to jump on you, man. 
This is uh, Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. So when you put your hand to the plow in 08, then you basically you went back in the world, you know, and, and started doing, kept doing whatever you were doing and supposedly reemerged in 2011. It doesn't work like that, my man. Well, he said what he was doing. He was selling dope. Yep. Those, are exact, those are his exact words. By that word, I shall be condemned. He said he was selling dope. And then he stopped selling dope in 2011. But supposedly he came into...